kills you. It ends up, usually, it is a cytokine storm. And you can learn what that is. I'm going to explain it in simple terms. Here's a couple articles that have come out. Coronavirus patients betrayed by their own immune system. Here's another one. Cytokine storm, an overreaction of the body's immune system. Now this is the one unique system in your body. You've got seven. The one of them that has to be balanced. If it's under functioning, you're going to get sick a lot. Colds, infections, bronchitis, flu. If it's over functioning, then you can get allergies, asthma, autoimmune disease, or even it can lead to death, as it does in this case. And I'll teach you what I mean. The bottom line is the immune response has two phases. The initiation phase, and just liken that to burning off a field. The fire starts, the field burns off, and the resolution phase. Now the fire's out, and the weeds are gone, everything's back to normal. That's how your immune system should be, initiation and resolution. Let's take the COVID-19 virus and have it attack the lungs like it has here. What happens? Inflammation begins when cytokines are released to alert the body that there's an enemy here. That's your body's immune system. Damaged tissues, damaged tissues release histamines, increasing the blood flow so that more things can get in there to help out. White blood cells move into the area and attack the virus and kill it and get rid of it. Other white blood cells come in to help clean up the mess. The virus is gone and then your body sends clotting factors to plug the leaks so that things get back to normal and the inflammation is resolved. That's what's supposed to happen. This was a study that I just read the other day. University of Alabama at Brigham. Here's what they said. For most people and most infections, that's what happened. He's an expert on the cytokine storm, by the way. But in some cases, as much as 15% of the people battling any serious infection, the immune system keeps raging long after the virus no longer needs it to get rid of it. It continues to release cytokines that keep the body on an exhausting, full-out alert. In their misguided bid to keep the body safe, these cytokines attack multiple organs, including the lungs and liver, and may eventually lead to death, which is normally what kills people with this virus. These people, in these people, it's their body's response rather than the virus that ultimately causes harm. Now, how long have I been teaching that to my patients in my course? For over a decade. In fact, let me show you what I, what I teach. Once in a while, however, the whole feverish production doesn't shut down. And in this case, inflammation becomes chronic inflammation and a chronic event. When that occurs, the body turns on itself with the after effects that underlie a wide variety of diseases, chronic inflammation can kill you. Now your defense system is located throughout your body, your tonsils, your lymph nodes, your bone marrow, and your gut lymph tissue. And this is the, the thing that most people don't know about, the gut lymph tissue. That is 70 to 80% of your defense system. Here it is your intestinal tract, there's that gut lymph tissue. If your digestive system has problems, you've got bad bacteria in there, you're taking medications that cause disturbances, you're going to have a defense system that does not function correctly. It can underreact or overreact causing problems. So to prevent a cytokine storm, I want you to optimize the function of your defense system using simple proven steps. It's really not that hard. If you're in the area and want more information, contact us at our clinic. If you're not, we have a great online course at sevensystemsplan.com.